Hello and welcome back to Maths Made Easy. Today we have very interesting question featuring law of indices, quadratic equation and some trigonometric concept. Let's see how we can find the value of x here. e to the power cos x minus 1 plus e to the power 1 upon 2 minus cos x is equal to 1 plus 1 upon root e. So basic idea will be we are going to use law of indices in these two terms to simplify the equation and then later we'll see what we can do in the next step. But initially we can start by using law of indices to make these two terms simpler. Okay, so since it is minus 1 it will come under, since it is minus cos of x so e raised to cos x will come under. Okay, now for the sake of sim simplicity we can substitute this e raised to cos x as any letter let's say y or m let me take m reason being is if you will make this simpler you can easily identify the form of equation what it is forming otherwise you may get confused in future other if you are comfortable you can go ahead with the same value e raised to cos x for me i'm going to take e to the power cos x is equal to m this time okay so we have m upon e plus root e upon m is equal to 1 upon I'm sorry is equal to 1 plus 1 upon root e okay let us do some cross multiplication here m square plus e times root e upon e m is equal to 1 plus root e upon root e now if you can see both LHS and uh, I mean left hand side and the right hand side I want to cut uh, I want to eliminate this e m from denominator but the condition should be either it is either it should appear in the numerator or it should be on the other hand side same place like here I'm going to look I'm going to I'm going to look for this one I will make this e m what is missing here is root e root e and m root e root e will become e and m so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply numerator and denominator of my right hand side so that I can eliminate em okay multiplying numerator and denominator in right hand side by m root e I hope you got the concept why I am multiplying with m root e so now further I can take this out from here okay we have m square minus m root e. I take it to the left hand side minus e m. I will take it to the left hand side plus e root e is equal to 0. Okay. Now if you can see this, this is a form of quadratic equation which has already been simplified for us. Usually quadratic equation comes in a square plus I mean x square plus ax plus b is equal to 0. Here we we are going to split the middle term. We will be doing, uh, we are going to split it in terms so that we have four values and uh, we can take something common and we get some or the other way is we go to find third term and there is another way we use formula minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a usually we go all this step but this has already been simplified so it's very easy for us to take m common from this part it's very easy to take e common from this part let's see further i'm taking e common uh, m common so we have one m left here and one root of e left here taking e common m minus root of e i'm not taking e common i'm taking minus e common so this plus will become negative okay now you have this m minus root e m minus root e m minus e therefore we have two values uh, two values of m that is e and root e but the value of m actually is e raised to cos x so let's substitute here now Again, we are use we are going to use the law of indices that says a to the power m is equal to a to the power n. Then we can say that m is equal to n. 
So since here e to the power cos x and e to the power 1 which is not mentioned there I mean which you cannot no need to write there e to the power cos x is equal to e to the power 1 upon 2 so the value of cos x is 1 and the value of cos x is 1 upon 2 now we are interested in x so the value of x is cos inverse of x and cos inverse of minus 1 upon 2 now you have to recall the trigonometric table where I can find the value of cos theta which is equal to 1 Therefore, we can write x is equal to 2 pi x. x is equal to plus or minus root pi upon 3 plus 2 pi k. Why? I am just going to explain you. The value of cos is always 1 for 0 and 360. If you remember, 0, 180, 360, 270, so if we put the value of k as any integer value, let me put 1 here. 2 pi, 2 times 180, 360. Let me put the value of k here as uh, 3, 4, 5, whatever. So this is the combination where you will get the value of x as 1 always. I mean this is the value of x. And if you put any number in place of k, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all those cases, the value of cos is always going to be cos, cos theta is equal to 1. Similarly, for this one, plus or minus pi upon 3 plus 2 pi k, where k belongs to integer. I hope you like this video. If you did, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much.